called Congress Weekly, said, your responsibility is to show that any critique of Zionism, if it comes from a non-Jew, is anti-Semitism. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. In 2019, Malaysia refused to allow Israeli athletes to compete in the World Power Swimming Championships. As a result, as punishment for this brave act, they were not allowed to host it. You would have thought that would have deterred them. It would have made them think twice before trying something like that again. But they were not scared. And again this year, <laughs> Malaysia allegedly refused to grant visas to Israeli players who had come for the major squash tournament. It wasn't to see you can drink Robinson the fastest yet, for God's sake. Israel pushed back and said, if we don't get to participate, then no one does. What? And because of that and their lobbying, the tournament got cancelled. On the other hand, we saw Algeria who were holding Palestinian flags after their victory against Morocco in the Arab Cup. You're probably thinking that's all random mate. No, it wasn't random because Morocco is one of those countries that has recently normalized their ties with Israel. And if that's not enough, again Algeria pulled out of a match in Qatar because of the participation of an Israeli coach. Israel of course is getting on his high horse and saying this is unacceptable. It's bullying. It's bigotry. I was actually surprised that Israel is somewhat familiar with these words because these are the very words that people accuse them of doing against the Palestinians but they claim ignorance of such words. And here we can see Noam Chomsky said, Abba Eben at that time foreign minister, Israeli diplomat. But uh, back in 1972, he wrote an important article called Congress Weekly. He said, your responsibility is to show that any critique of Zionism, by which he meant the policies of his government, if it comes from a non-Jew, is anti-Semitism. If that's not enough, Human Rights Watch's 2021 most read stories of the year was a report documenting about how Israeli authorities are committing crimes against humanity of apartheid and persecution. Now this story was amazing, yeah, because you don't think, when you think of developed Muslim countries, influential Muslim countries, Malaysia, Algeria does not necessarily come to mind. In fact, these are such countries that you'd expect to just keep their head low and just go along with things just so they don't get sanctions and other things as we're seeing in Afghanistan. Yeah, I think I might even need to make a separate video about that. They've left Afghanistan, yeah, after occupying it for 20 years and now they're applying sanctions to it. Yeah, freezing their bank accounts. Yeah, and they don't have access to money. You got the average Joe who is suffering, but you won't see it on the news, mate. You won't see Angelina Jolie saying, oh, you know, th these people need our help. No, 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 that was only when it was popular. So I rate these countries because we are, let's face it, sick and tired of hearing UAE, UAE, normalizing tide. It's getting ridiculous. Like the Ummah is tired of hearing this. And whilst these same individuals are too busy keeping their ex-wives happy, yeah, and it's, <laughs> they're getting done over by their wives, yeah? You, as, as you can see, I, saw, I was reading it in the bus today. The wife allegedly has had illicit relations with a bodyguard, but still she is getting the biggest divorce settlement here in the UK anyway. It's ab absolutely embarrassing. If you do over your Muslim brothers, I'm not saying correlation equals causation, but what I'm saying is the help of Allah will seldom come to you. Yeah, if you do your own brothers and sisters over like that. Yeah, what is going on in Palestine is absolutely ridiculous. There is not a human rights organization that will say, you know what, it's, it, it's a lie, it is difference of opinion mate. No, it's a fact. So wallahi, I have a newfound respect for such countries because I do understand that there are countries even like Pakistan, they have a very strong relationship, a very dependent relationship with China, but China is doing all of that sort of stuff to the Uyghurs. 
Yeah, madness to the Uyghurs. But now there's a dilemma. You know, if we tell China about what's going on with the Uyghurs, it can cause issues with us. But if we don't, then it's wrong. So, nah, but the thing is, look, you have to understand that honor, success comes from Allah. And I know what you're thinking. Some people are just like, oh, yeah, all right, all right. But look, we are not created for the dunya. If there is oppression taking place, you're going to have to stand in front of Allah and give an account. And saying oh, it was for the economic benefit of my country is just not going to cut it. It's just not going to cut it. It's best that you stand in front of Allah with, look, we did what we could. Yes, we were in trouble, but at least we helped our brothers and sisters with whatever we could. And I hope, I hope somebody is watching that needs to hear this because it's very important because too many people give political justifications when in reality guys the only justification that we need to have is obeying Allah as taught by the Prophet and even at a micro level in our households in our workplaces we might be saying look I, I need to do this you know it's in the gray area in the haram area but at least I get to put food on the table who's gonna feed me look 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 there's no point getting that haram money because that money number one is gonna have no barakah in it and number two your aqeedah your belief is wrong because you're believing that the power rests with you when ultimately it rests with Allah and his laws yes initially you might you know be eating less you might be doing less but that thing is going to have barakah in it and you will have success ultimate success in this world and in the hereafter you might not be a billionaire or a trillionaire but at least you'll be doing that which is correct and has barakah and blessings in it and let's leave it there guys until next time <laughs> assalamu alaikum